friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we are working on an RC car unit where we are using our programming skills and our circuit building skills to make an RC car. And today we are going to use our programming skills in Tinkercad code blocks to make a base for that RC car. So we are going to make something that will hold our motors and our Arduino and even have some Lego bits on it. So let's get started. So first let's start by creating our Lego dots and we will do that by creating a new object. And to make our Lego dots, we're gonna make a few objects. The first one being the dot, and then we'll build the dot into the line and the line into a plane. So I looked up the information about the Lego dots and I learned that the Lego dots have a radius of 4.8 millimeters, which means, or not a radius, but a diameter. So we wanna split that in half to get 2.4 millimeters for a diameter. And we're gonna have our height be two millimeters. And here, the sides is going to make it, the more sides we have is going to make it more circular. So we're going to put 50 sides on that. And then we're just going to move this a little bit and we're going to move it in the Z direction. And we can move it by 0.85 in the Z direction. So that should be what we want for our Lego dot. Now we're going to use loops to make, go from the dot into a Lego line. So the next object we make, we can rename that our Lego line. And it's important to name these because we're going to add either the dots or the lines inside of loops. So we're going to grab a loop that we're going to count with I and we are going to count from one until six. That's about the amount of space that we have in our project. And each time we go through this loop, we are going to add a copy and that's in our purple and our modify. And this oval here tells us what we want to add a copy of and we want to add a copy of our Lego dot. And then we're going to move that Lego dot in the X direction so that we can make up a line. And we'll use a little bit of math here. We're gonna have to do I, our variable I, which is in data, times, and then we need that distance that goes between Lego dots. And I looked that up and that is eight millimeters between Lego dots. So you have I times eight, and that is gonna go in your X direction, just like that. And we can create a group of these Lego dots and then we can move this whole group, this whole Lego line up. And this just helps us get started in the right place. So I'm gonna put X is minus 28 and Y is 74. So that helps us center things and move to the back of where our car will be. Now we can build this up and see what it looks like. And you can kind of see that here's where our Lego dot built and this is where the movement put our initial Lego line. So now we're ready to take this line and create a bunch of lines so we'll create yet again a new object and this one is going to be our Lego plane and this will make up sort of a larger area than just one line we're going to do the same sort of thing that we did up here we're going to count with J and we're going to go from 1 to 5 here and we're going to add a copy and this time instead of adding a copy of the Lego dot we're going to add a copy of that Lego line that we just made and then we will move that Lego line and here we're going to move it so that it builds going down all right and so we'll have to use our math again and we'll use J because that is who we're counting for in this loop we're using J and we'll do J times and we wanna go down, so we'll do J times minus eight. And that will just sort of bring it down towards the center by eight each time. You'll notice we stepped the X out in eight and now we're gonna step the Y down in eight. And then I can clean up a couple things. I can delete my Lego dot because I no longer need it. And I can also delete my Lego line because I'm no longer gonna need that. All right, and then we can hit run and see the Lego plane that that's going to make up for us. So this is making up a lovely little Lego plane with some great Lego dots. And that will be the back of our car as we go. So now we need to build our car. So let's start our car. We'll create a new object here just to be really consistent with this and we'll call this our car base. Now our car, let's start with like a really big rectangle and then we can cut holes out of that rectangle as we need to. So I'm going to start with a rectangle and I'm going to make the width 100 and I'm going to make the length 145 
and I'm gonna make the height four, and that height stays four because for our patrons at patreon.com slash rosyresearch, we can ship these four millimeter projects out to you guys, and so you can give us your code and we'll ship it to you and you'll have a great little RC car base for your project when you get home. So now when we run this, we're gonna see sort of that base build in, which is fantastic, but we're gonna to need to cut some things out of that base. So we're gonna add a new box and we're gonna make this one a hole. So over here when it's on the red and you see all these colors, that means it's a solid. We can also delete something and that's when we click on that gray. And here I'm gonna make a hole that is a width of 19 and a length of 65 and a height of 20 here because it's the hole, it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna have any edges. Now this is the hole, if we plug this in, this is gonna be a hole that is the size of our motors. So this is gonna be where we hold the motors, but we don't want these motors in the center. So I'm going to move this using my modify, and I'm gonna move that in the X direction by 38, and that will put me on one of the sides, and in the Y direction by 38 as well. And that should move it into place for me. Just like that, beautiful. So now we're going to copy these two lines of code. So if you click on it and it's outlined in green right here where we added that hole for our motor, we're gonna duplicate that. And we're gonna plug that in right below. And we can now change our X's and our Y's and that will allow us to change where our motor holes are going. So we can just plug in a minus 38 for X here and that will flip it over to the other side for us. And then we can take these two blocks right here, we can duplicate those sets of blocks, and we can make our Y is negative here. And then we'll have one motor in every corner. So here are our motors in the corners, it's looking great. Now we're going to add in another part to help our Arduino slot in. So our Arduino is gonna go in the middle and we have an Arduino and also a power rail that we're gonna put in here. And so we're gonna to need to make sure that we have slots for the pins to go through. We also need to make sure we have a hole so that we can plug the Arduino into our computer. So let's start by making some slots towards the back end that will allow us to put the power rail on there, the extra power rail that we needed. Now, if you find that you're like, have a lot of code and you wanna add some comments, you can also do that. We could add in here, let's say, here's our motors, which can be really helpful. And then we can also add a comment down here. Now that our motors are over, we could say, let's do our um, pin rails for Arduino slash power. And that will help you if you find, oh, something's not going right as I'm building it, it will help you figure out where you are at. All right, so these rails, we're gonna use a shape, we're gonna use the box for that, and we're gonna cut them out so they're also gonna be holes. Now these holes are gonna have a width of seven and give them a length of 15 for the back ones. The height can be 20, because again, it's gonna be a hole that we're cutting through. And then we're gonna to wanna to move this. So we can go to modify and move. We can plug that in on the bottom and we're gonna move it by 23 and minus 60. And just like what we did with the motors, we're gonna to wanna to copy this chunk of code and duplicate it. And we'll put X at minus 23 and Y is minus 60. And that will put it at the back of the car for us. Just like that. So now we have two holes. This is where our power board is gonna be. And then we'll put some longer ones up here for the Arduino. So what we can do for the longer ones is we can copy what we just made, plug that in the bottom, but we'll change our lengths. Instead of 15, we'll do a length of 50 on both of those. And then we'll change our moves ever so slightly Instead of y is minus 60, we'll do y is minus 25. And we're gonna keep the x the same so that these guys are in a nice straight line for us. And we can rebuild that. And you can see that we've got now some spots for these things. 
Now our Arduino has some jacks that are going to, we're gonna have some plugs into. So we need actually a hole sort of in the middle to allow those jacks to have some space so that we can access them. Let's add another comment in here and we will put a, this is gonna be the hole for Arduino jacks. And that will help us know exactly where we are in our programming if we need to change something. So I'm gonna pull out another box shape and it's gonna also be a hole. And we are going to make the width of this box 54, which is just a little bit over the width of our Arduino. We are going to make the length of it 26, which should be the length of those jacks plus a little bit of space. The height can be 20. And then we're going to need to move this into place. And to move it into place, we need just to move it by Y is 15, because we do want, we're not gonna change an X because we want it to be centered. So let's build that up and see where we're at. Here's this nice hole for our jacks, which is going to be great. We have a lot of extra structural stuff in here to keep these guys strong. And if we want, we can see it a little bit better if we create a group at the very end. And that will actually make the holes delete. So you can see where we're gonna put our Arduino and our power board, our motors are gonna go here. And this will be some access for us in terms of getting power or connecting to the computer. Now you'll notice though, our Lego bits have disappeared here and we're gonna cut out some area here to make this a little thinner and also we'll make this area a little thinner. And that's because the soldered pins on it make it so that it sort of sits on top. So if we cut out an area here, it can sit a little bit better for us. So let's cut out a nice big rectangle from the middle of that car. So we're gonna grab a box and let's take our create group out for now. That's just to show you guys. Um, and we'll grab a box here. We're gonna make sure that it is gray. And this box is gonna be a width of 35 and a length of 140. So it's gonna go most of the way along it. We want the height to be four this time and that's because we're gonna move it up. And if we have the same height, we'll have sort of the same reference point and we won't have to do as much math. And then we're gonna move it up in Z by two. And that will give us an overall thickness here in part of the places of just four instead. We'll do the same type of cutout back towards the Legos so we can grab another box. And we'll make that one a hole, so make sure you're on the gray for that. This box will have a width of 50 and a length of 60 and a height of four. And again, when we move it, we're gonna move it in Z by two. So we'll move it in Z by two. And then we do need to move it towards sort of this part of the car and that is moving it in Y by 50. And we can run this and see how that's going to look for us. And if we create a group, we can see what it will end up doing cutting out for us. And now you can see those Lego pins, they come out, you can see them really nicely. And we have all the space for things where you can have the Lego dots here and we can have the soldered pins over here. Here's our spot for our jacks. The only big thing we're missing is sort of some wire management from our motors. So our motors are gonna have wires attached to them. And the question is like, how do we get these wires from the motors over into here because the motors, your wires might be on the bottom or on the side, so it might not come straight out the top. So what we can do is we can punch some holes out using just a cylinder. And just like the motors, we can rewrite the same code a few times and get that, the effect that we want. So let's go down, let's get grab a comment line and mark up. And let's put, this is gonna be wire management. And for the wire management, we're gonna add a cylinder and make sure it's a hole. So you're on that gray slashed area and that, or again, it helps you delete it. Let's make the radius of this hole 2.6 millimeters. The height can be 20. We'll make it really round though. So the sides, let's change that to 50. So it's actually circular instead of sort of like a big pen pentagon type of a shape. Um, 
And then we need to move this. So we're gonna move this and we'll move it in X is 45 and that should just pop it out and we'll get two on each side. So let's copy this line, we'll duplicate it and instead of moving by X is 45, let's move it by X is 35 and that should put the two sort of right next to each other. We can run this to double check that it's going where we think it's going. And so now we have these two guys that are next to each other and we'll put them on the same, the same thing on the other side. So you can copy that chunk of four blocks of code, duplicate them, and instead of positive 45 and 35, we're gonna go negative 45 and negative 35. And then we can create a group at the end of all of this just like that and we'll refresh this and run it and we can see sort of our final product so here is what we're gonna have as our RC car base and it's gonna add a lot of structure it's gonna make it easy to put this all together it'll make it look really professional and it'll be a really great way to show off all of the hard work that you've been doing on this project thank you guys so much for joining us in this Tinkercad code blocks tutorial I hope that you guys are having a lot of fun as we learn about circuits and programming and 3D printing all at the same time. We'll see you soon in our next lesson. Have a great one, friends. Bye.